as the first kick is taken by Amanda Sugar Lashley. Barbados in possession going from left to right, which means they're looking to score in the Sergeant's Village end to our right. And Belize of the Belize player, Lopez last, and throwing to Barbados down there, left hand side. Good control by Jules, back inside. Up a bit, 40 in the midfield again. Up a bit. You have a lot to do, even from a wing back position. You know he's very orchestrative. Williams to this near side. Company. Jules 8, Williams 6. Here's Williams over it. Jules with the shot. And he's over the crossbar by just about a yard. Not really troubling. Broom, uh, foot control key for, uh, coming out of the 18 yard box and playing as a keeper sweeper as well. He's excellent. He does direct traffic very well as well. And of course, his reflex saves are brilliant. So Primus looking. I don't think his mom was totally dead. I think he was almost <laughs> there. But in the end, the ball just drifted outside. What is going to be very interesting is how Barbados used the flanks here. And like I said, with the wind very, very, very strong. You just need to play the ball down the flanks, put the crosses in at that moment. A very scary moments there for Barbados because the defense was at sixes and nines and taken apart by the cross. And he just failed to connect on that. The kick. Barbados nil, Belly's nil. Barbados down the left with Captain Rashad Jules. I haven't seen the best of him this season for the BDF, but uh, still holding down the captain's armband and the starting to Williams. He leading ball across the final third of Barbados' defense. Sliding tackle coming in. There's the leading ball again, trying to find Jules on the left. 17 and a half minutes on the clock. It's a searching ball. This time Williams takes possession, knocks it back, uh, trying to find a kill up a bit. Uh, to the right hand side. Hinkson into Jules. Over to Holligan. A bit of a bit of slack control, but the Belize midfielders have been just that, just that little bit more accurate with their passes and a bit more deadly in creating chances. Down the right goes Barbados with Hinkson. Barbados will not have much chances of scoring. So they need to be patient, Trev. Take time, probe, search, and eventually, with a good little bit of concentration, they can get at least a shot. Turn loaded on the tried and tent coverage. And Barbados in possession with Jules, who's left his left side his position to switch to the right hand side to get a bit more possession. Williams tries to play the leading ball out to the far left. As he lets that one slide past his body, then he uses his body to protect the ball and stop the man from getting at it at the same time. But uh, sliding tackle coming in from Joe Moore Harris. Overcome left post, but better football there in that movement from Barbados. So Jules, captain into Sergeant, plays the return ball. Jules will use his right foot to curl one. For the attacking header, comes off the top of his. We'll see if West is at his best. Oh, he'll be up to the test. Jules, ball across to the near post. Quality is poor, given the treatment. Captain Zarban on the left hand. Second assistant, Tonya Dean there as well. Ball into the spot, and there's West. Takes it brilliantly. Uh, this occasion, it's a bit too smart for that. Uh, Victor Mejia. And he gives away the throw. So it's Harris with the pass, which up into the night sky the defensive header into Jules who goes on a run down his left leaving his man for death the square ball for our post no takers but there's Sergeant Hustle and Williams sitting back on the back four which allowed for Belize's Atkinson and Mensah to come forward and dictate the pace since then we've seen uh, Hayden Holligan drop into a defensive role which gave Barbados the five Many defense outnumbering the Belize four, and that's how Barbados have been able to get the man that is uh, able to receive the ball just beyond the front two uh, when they're on the attack. He shouldn't sit back and defend, he needs to come forward and then form the extra man so that um, the likes of Lashley and Rashad Jules can then go. Belize trying to get forward, but good defensive cover work from Barbados as well as to go forward down the left. So here it Harris to Jules, three men for company. <laughs> really chasing him down here all the way back this time to Akil Apovit who continued Keith but uh, 
bit, bit too impatient there. His Jules with acre space down the left hand side. He will look to pull the trigger with his left. Shoots now. The defensive tackles are brilliant. And the ball over the touchline for in the far corner there. Throwing by Hinkson. Looking for the knock on. Instead, Belize taking possession of it. And prodding it. One at the back post to help Belize get that ball squeezing at the back post. Barbados going forward with lots of space and time in the midfield. And this is where they need to dictate the test. Trident's uh, midfield simply because they're not able to keep possession of the ball long enough. Here's Jules across this far side to Holligan. We're in the number 10. He'll look to cut to the point in time and maybe then um, have the adequate substitution coming in. Akeem Hill can also play in uh, wing back or midfield position and allow for the defense to reshuffle. Uh, Armando Sugar actually two chances created and really no finishing touches. This is Jules, a little tug of his shorts that suggests he's going penalty spot. The ball ricochets nicely from lack of concentration there again, Keith, and losing concentration bellies. And the ball flicked all the way across to this far side. Jules into his BDF teammate, Sergeant, tackled. This is an opportunity for Barbados to take the advantage and get a goal because he's continued to make mistake after mistake. This Jules with the right foot shot coming in and West equal to the task on 72 minutes. So uh, looping the local BFA Premier League, that will be a kill Applewit. But at present he's perched in a left back position and maybe if um, technical around September and August. So this is Harris, plays to his captain, Jules, who's looking to play the leading ball in. And here's Lashley, he shoots for good measure. The midfield, Barbados just need to keep their composure, make sure that the defence is tight because we are coming into the closing minutes of the game and they would not want to give away the ball again. Defensive header, coming from Hinkson, in possession. Here's... Gale, the little top of three minutes, but wanting for sure if any team should score now, they will go on to win this game because the way the game is going, they continue to pass the ball without any control. And it's a leading ball played to the inside chance for Jules's left foot and off the keeper's legs on. 89 minutes, the winner was... You know, there's, there's times when he, he, he can't fake that lefty and then put the right foot into place, but not doing it on that occasion. Here's Jules, corner kick, floated towards the near post area, asking for Harris to do a lot of work there. Jules in possession, he's tripped in the process, and he's won a set play. Free kick, this one is 22 yards out, over on the right hand. But send for two more players. Here we go, Sergeant. This one towards the near post. It's lurking at far post. The chip across the far side comes up the Belize defense now and get the header on target and take the match by the scruff of the neck. Jules with the delivery towards the penalty spot. Out comes Keeper West, punched with both hands.